Okay guys, Assalamualaikum and good afternoon. So for example number 2. Examples number 2. For parameter estimations. Okay. So LS estimation of uh, value parameter. So these questions. So figure below. Show a value uh, the figure there. Okay, so we assume that the flow Q is given by the models q equal to k v u square b okay so where u is the control signals and p is the pressure drop okay so the question is estimate the value parameter kv estimate kv from m corresponding value from m corresponding value values of Q, U and P. So this is the figure. Okay. So this is the U to control signals. So then this is the KV the power of shaft. And this is Q. The pressure drops, and here is the measurement of P. The pressure drop, sorry, pressure drop is here. So U, we have U, we have the value of Q and P, and we want to find the value of KV. Okay, now. So the equation given Q equal to KV U third P. Okay. So KV is unknown. Okay, you want to find it. And I have a M corresponding value of Q. And I also have M corresponding value of U and M corresponding value of P. So, so this is the practical problem, the real experiment pro uh, problems. So, what should we start? How we should want to start to calculate the to estimate the value of KV? So we start by writing the models on the regression models forms uh, y equal to phi theta. Okay. So theta is the unknown parameter. Okay. So first we have to identify what is our y phi and theta from the equations okay so from here i write back q equal to kv u squared so kv is unknown so kv is theta q is y and u squared u squared p is Phi. Okay. 
And we know that we have M corresponding value of each parameter, Q, U and P. So we can write the expression for each value from 1 to until M in the metric forms. So we have Q1, Q2, Qm equal to U1, P1, U2, P2, Um, Pm times theta. Theta is Kv. Okay. So this is the regression model in form of in the metric forms. Then uh, our interest is to find the value of Kv. And uh, first we already write the equation in form of the standard regression model y equal to phi theta so ls estimation uh, less square estimation uh, kv ls can be calculated from the equation of theta ls equal to phi transpose phi minus 1 times phi transpose y. Okay, so from our previous equations here, right? So here is y, uh, theta and phi. Okay, so phi is equal to u1 p1 u2 p2 to um pm so the phi transpose is equal to u1 p1 u2 p2 um pm okay so we have phi and phi transpose so in order to find to estimate the value of kv by using least square error the least square uh, method uh, the equations is phi theta transpose phi inverse phi transpose y so substitute all the matrix here is theta trans, uh, phi transpose u1 p1 u2 p2 um pm times phi u1 p1 u2 p2 um pms okay it is inverse okay so times phi theta uh, phi transpose times okay here times u1 p1 u2 P2, UM, PM, times Y. Y is Q. Q1, Q2, 2, QM. Okay. So this how we substitute the matrix, the phi value in the matrix forms in order to estimate the value of KV by using least square method okay now so uh, metric ma multiplication kvls equal to u1 
one squared plus u two p two squared plus plus u m p m squared times inverse okay times u1 q oops q1 p1 plus u2 q2 p2 plus plus um qm pm okay so simplify the equations so it's the inverse right so kita akan dapat you will get u1 q1 p1 plus u2 q2 p2 plus um qm pm over u1 p1 squared u2 p2 squared plus um pm squared okay so in order to estimate the value of kv by using least square error a least square method i need to know the value of u u and p okay in m corresponding value okay from u1 to um you also have to you also have to have the value of uh, p from p1 to pm okay then we will get the value of kv okay during the google in the google forms uh, survey uh, for your attendance there are ones of your friend asked about either you can use calculator to calculate uh, the matrix if uh, the value of u and p is a solid number one two until one hundreds and so on you may use calculator otherwise if it's the derivations uh, equation like this you have to know how to use the matrix Mat matrix uh, multiplications inverse and so on okay so this the apa? example two uh, more to the derivation of the equations okay but the the basics of the knowledge is still there you have to know how to use the uh, equations how to estimate the value of unknown parameter theta okay here the unknown parameter is kv but the the basics knowledge is still the same we'll use the uh, same equation phi theta phi transpose phi inverse time phi transpose y so first you have to identify what is the uh, value of which uh, parameter is y uh, phi and which parameter is unknown parameter and we uh, identify it as the or label it as the data okay so guys so that's all for examples so that's all for examples